Hello. Previously, we have mentioned ID3, C4.5, and CART algorithms covering decision trees. Target label must be nominal in all of those algorithms. They cannot handle numerical target labels. Herein, regression trees can handle numerical target values. Let's adapt a simple real world example. In the root folder of the Chefboost framework, I'm going to create a Python 3 notebook and name it as Dispatcher. And firstly, I'm going to import Chefboost framework. I can use a dataset under dataset folder. Here, golf3.txt and golf4.txt files include numerical target values. To read golf4.txt, I'm going to import pandas library. Besides, I'm going to read the golf4.txt file pandas.readcsv and here location of the dataset golf4.txt Let's see the top 5 rows of the pandas data frame. Here we are going to build the decision tree. chefboost.fit Here I am going to paste the data frame but I am going to copy it instead of pasting the raw data set because this data set includes numerical values and uh, fit command might manipulate or change the data set and also configuration file will be passed to the fit command in the configuration file i am going to specify the algorithm it's going to be regression and i'm going to store the uh, learning outcomes in the model variable regression tree is built and these are the uh, error metrics in the regression tree based on the mean absolute error over mean metric uh, it got almost 8% error you can see the uh, learning outcomes it's stored in the uh, chefboost root directory under outputs rules and rules.py decision rule checks zero index feature value which is outlook and if outlook is equal to overcast uh, the decision will be 46.25 we will make predictions based on this decision rule let's import it here i'm going to call chefboost.predict and here i'm going to pass my model file and test instance i need to initialize a test instance here here i can pass the uh, for example for index value for index item in my training set rain as outlook 68 as temperature 80 as humidity and weak as wind the prediction will be 47 this is my prediction and also i can get the uh, value of for index uh, item as like that data frame that i look here i'm going to pass the index and get its decision value let's compare them prediction is prediction variable here and actual is actual variable here i can put this printing line in this block prediction is 47 and actual value is 52 here i can also print the error
actual minus prediction. I can also make predictions for all training set items. I'm going to build a for loop for index and instance in data frame that iterate rows. Here I'm going to make predictions chefboost predict and pass model as input and instance as uh, second variable and this is my prediction similarly actual value is equal to instance items decision column and let's copy this line here As seen some items have uh, plus errors and some items have uh, minus errors that's why I should call absolute function to have absolute errors we can also uh, run regression tree for golf tree.txt file let's clear the all output first and restart the kernel and run all as seen uh, all features are nominal in uh, golf3.txt file and let's check the uh, new uh, decision rules and these are my predictions so we have mentioned regression trees in this video regression trees are very common method in decision trees for example add a boost or gradient boosting methods uses regression trees besides uh, gradient boosting for classification problems requires your classification problem to regression first then applying regression trees thank you all for watching and see you next time